Welcome back to Fix It Aid to what is a bit of a different flavour today. Ignore these screws, they are for something totally different. I hope you've had a fantastic Christmas. Now, what we're going to do today is I've come across this watch that you build yourself. It's like a build yourself sort of solder yourself kit. Um, but I thought it looked really cool. So I thought we'd put it together, together. Put it together, together. How many times can you say the word together in a sentence? So we've got instructions here. To be honest, I think it's going to be pretty self-explanatory. So we're going to firstly take these components out. That's obviously the button battery clamp so we can move the strap the case the battery over there so I'm going to bring you in a bit closer so R1 is the resistor And see how we go without flux first. So I don't make a mess. See how well it takes. And it is taking really well actually. So I break the golden rule today. And leave flux out the equation, I think. Where we can anyway. Next is the crystal. In position Y1. There it is. Oh, it's I want to try and make this as neat as possible as well. Oh, that? The crystal in place. Now the switches. Trim them off a bit more. Make sure that's seated flush, which it isn't. So if I just press there now. Now it is. And the same with the other one. Oh, that one looks alright, actually. Yeah, that's the capacitors. So again, these should be labelled. 22, 22. 
104, even though that's 20 jump and line the wrong place. 104. That's the first one in. Let's fold it over. Let's fold him back out. The next 104. Not making me a spare by the looks. Because there's only one of them. Let's put that one in. And this one out. Now we need to get in, or oh, apparently I should have done the chip just after the crystal. Have a look at the ridge there. Corresponds with the Draw in the ridge there. Put them in. That's seated nice in there. Right, let's get these soldered in. So next then is the readout, the display. So that goes like that. Let's, let's have a look how we look in. Brilliant. Happy with that. Yep, they are flying everywhere. Just to let you know. Excellent. So what's next? The battery tray. 
So this goes like that. And then the battery pushes under the squeeze that in it like that. And get these two soldered in. Now let's put the battery in time, I think, is it? That's what it's saying on the... It's a 2032, pretty standard size cell battery, or button battery, or whatever you want to call it. And there we are. Obviously it's not flashing in real life, that's just what you're seeing because of the frame rate. Oh, no, you see it normally now. Yep. If I can just straighten this up a bit, because it's annoying me. Yes. Yeah, brilliant. Up with that. So now needs to go in this case. Where for that? What did I do with that? There it is. Couldn't see it because it's clear. Snug like that. And then this comes over here. And you screw these in. Not like that. Does come with a tiny little screwdriver. And then the straps next. Yeah, well, that was one. So, and there we are. So, what's the time? Time is currently 10.43. Scroll this down. Yeah. And that is it. You build your own watch. Personally, I think that's quite cool. So you can get these um, online, on Amazon, whatever. A bit of fun. Nothing really in depth at all. It's all pretty much easily laid out. So have a go yourself.
but I just thought it'd be a little bit of fun for us to build this together. So thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Ta-da.